Hello and welcome to the video. So today my leather order has arrived from J and FJ Baker right here in Devon. Um, I have ordered quite a few hides this time so it was a pretty big order, took a while to come. But uh, in the video today we're going to be unboxing it basically and having a look at, at the four different colours that I've gone for. So I've gone for black, I've gone for their dark stain which is like a brown, um, then I've gone for their London tan which is uh, quite a deep orangey colour uh, and then I've gone for a natural undyed, um, undyed shoulder. Um, I've got a range of thicknesses actually so I've got two belting bridles um, in black and dark stain um, and that'll be used for straps, uh, belts obviously, anything that requires a bit of a thicker, thicker part of the hide and then I've got a shoulder in one of each of the four colours um, and that's at 2 to 2.5 mil for those four and then I've got one that's slightly thinner just to try out for wallets so I've gone for a 1.6 mil in a, I believe it was the brown that I went for but it was quite a while ago that I ordered these so I can't quite remember um, anyway let's get down to it so I haven't opened this at all, I haven't seen what they've sent, um, so let's have a look at what they've, let's have a look at what they've sent me. If you've ever ordered leather before you'll know that you know some of them have scars and other imperfections on them, um, which I personally absolutely love. I think it's brilliant when you get you know, a good scar running down or in parts of it because it really just adds to the character of what you're what you're making. Um, and you know that is that is how it is in real life, so why not cherish that? way is to pull it out of this this overall pack. What I absolutely love about J and FJ Baker is that they wrap all of their leather in this lovely waxed brown paper. Uh, if you guys haven't haven't seen um, haven't heard of J and FJ Baker tannery before I'll um, I'll leave a description down below. Uh, you should definitely go and check them out. All of their leather is sourced right here in Devon, so it's all really sustainable. So they're also the only tannery left in England that still uses traditional methods of oak bark tanning all of their hides. So it's a process that takes over a year, but as a result you get a really rich colour. So let's see if I can get into this thing. Obviously when you're unboxing you do want to be pretty careful that you're not going to damage the leather in any way. So I'm just using a knife to cut through the tape that's holding this waxed paper together. going to roll out this way. Nice, so the outside one is looking like the natural, the natural colour um, and this will be the 2 to 2.5 mil thickness. I'm not sure what that is in American ounces, I know that they measure things differently over there. This is Gorgeous. Let's see if I can show this one. Show this one to you. So I've never ordered this colour before actually. I've only worked with the other three. So this is my first time seeing this. So, let's 
see that. I mean, it is gorgeous. You can notice all of the the um, stretch marks in the leather. It feels amazing. All right, let's have a look at the others. Perfect. I think we've got knack now for it. Wow. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this colour from over there, but that's pretty amazing. But let's flip this one over. So this is the London Tan. As you can see, it's quite a rich orange. This one over again so you guys can see it. You know, underneath it is a really rich, rich black underneath there. And here's the last of the four colours, the dark stain. Stain. Absolutely gorgeous, this one. I think this one's possibly my favourite. I'm definitely a sucker for the brown leather. Absolutely amazing. And then here I've got my slightly thinner dark stain. So this is the 1.6 mil. And this is what I'm going to want to use for wallets. Um, and sort of small things like uh, passport holders, things like that. Just so that the thickness doesn't build up too much. I probably will still sky the ends of these. So these last two should be my belting pieces. I think it's the, uh, the bridle butts. Um, yes, two bridle butts. Uh, this one is in the dark stain. So I'm not sure if you can see from there, but this one, because it's the bridal butt, it's a lot longer than the shoulder and it's a lot more of a, a rectangular piece. So it's perfect for making long strips out of for belts and such. So you'll have that full length there, um, which should be around 60 inches, I believe. Um, perfect for making your belts. This final one. This final one is the black bridal butt. <clears throat> so again, it's the long rectangular piece, perfect for making some belts and straps. Um, and it's so strong. Each strap is is incredible, and yet the whole thing is actually really light compared to other leathers. I've noticed that J and F J Baker leather is just really really light so that's it for today a little look at the leather order that's come in today for me um, i will definitely be making some cool things out of this over the next few days if not weeks as this is quite a lot of leather as i said earlier i'll leave a link in the description for the um, for the tannery 
Um, I do buy straight from the tannery, but you are able to get this leather from, um, I know that you can get it from AA Crack. Um, I don't know if you're able to get it from other places. I'll leave links for both in the description below. If you've got any questions, guys, do pop them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.